In this video I would like to share with you some knowledge about Russian gestures, about the culture of uh, Russian gestures. And I would like to start with uh, just a general uh, situation with gestures. Well, uh, according to some studies, Russians uh, ranked uh, in the middle of the earth populations in terms of gesturing. And, uh, and of course there are several peculiarities like uh, uh, researchers, no researchers noted that uh, Russians uh, are not frequently using gestures uh, which involve both hands simultaneously. So it, it's not a part of our culture. You can use one hand, but very rarely uh, two of them together. While having a conversation, it's important to keep eye contact. So that just confirms that you you are in touch. Uh, you you mean what you say and then you pay attention to what other that your your interlocutor is saying. It is also considered to be very impolite to uh, point at something with your index finger. So this is very impolite. So you, uh, the, the solution here is you, you just uh, indicate something with the, with your entire palm like, like this. Well, well, some smart asses they say, okay, one finger is impolite, but if you do it with three, then it's okay. Now we're coming close to uh, gestures. So number one is how to beckon a person is like this. Oh my goodness! This is how you attract a person, like from here. That came later. This from the Matrix movie, uh, and. Um, there is one uh, interesting gesture from basically Asian uh, culture which uh, sends a very confusing message to Russians. This is uh, that uh, cat which beckons luck, doing it like this. And to us, uh, this is akin to uh, waving goodbye. Like, we do it like this sometimes. Or like, like this. <laughs> and uh, so it's uh, very confusing to Russians, they don't understand what to do with, uh, with such uh, souvenir which just uh, basically says uh, you back off, stay away from me. So it's a bit confusing. How about uh, gestures for yes and no? If you want to say yes, you just nod. And if you want to say no, you shake your head. Um, there is a, of course, a big cluster of uh, uh, kids' gestures. I still remember them, so I'm, I'm not that old, but yeah. Uh, well, they basically are concerning uh, teasing. Uh, so one of them is like uh, came from the the Buratino movie, which is uh, a Russian equivalent of Pinocchio. And this is like this, or even like that. So this is uh, to tease a person. Um, how you calm uh, or pacify uh, a kid? You just uh, make this international gesture, shh, and it works uh, <laughs> at least at times. There is an interesting tradition of uh, congratulating a person with uh, his or her birthday. You just come from behind the person who just turned, uh, say, 15, and uh, you take his or her ears and pull them a number of uh, times which correspond to the number of years the person just <laughs> reached. So it's like one, two, three, and you count it aloud. Uh, so this is a strange, uh, strange uh, tradition in Russia. But it's uh, slowly dying out. Now some words about uh, gestures for greeting and uh, saying goodbye. So you normally greet the person with a firm handshake uh, or with uh, hugs or with uh, kisses uh, yeah. and uh, men don't kiss each other women uh, do they started do it, doing it uh, since uh, I believe mid 90s when they uh, first saw it uh, on uh, Western uh, in the, uh, on Western TV or something how do you say goodbye well you you either make a sh sh uh, handshake or a kiss up upon the cheek uh, or wave goodbye like this or like this. It's like kids do it. 
uh, there are several exclusive Russian gestures, I believe. Uh, well, number one is a gesture for imprisonment or a prison in general. This is like this. Symbolizes bars. Uh, then a very, very uh, universal gesture for alcohol or a drink. This is like, so we just, it doesn't matter with, with which uh, finger. Uh, and uh, that just uh, you can indicate that the person you, you can uh, uh, nod at the person and uh, make this silent jest, uh, gesture and uh, the person uh, and your person whom you're showing this understands that the, the other person is drunk and uh, if uh, for example uh, you come to, to an apartment uh, and you see a, a table with the bottles on it and you can just without say uttering a word you can just uh, make this gesture and the person immediately understands that uh, the bottles are actually containing alcohol and um, yeah this is our universal gesture because uh, I guess you guys out there in the world are well aware about uh, the big place alcohol is, to, uh, is occupying in uh, <laughs> Russian culture so to speak um, uh, one of the other uh, gestures is uh, how to uh, show a person that you are fed up with him or fed up with uh, with something? So you just show this and say, "I ya sit pagorla, I'm uh, fed up up to, to my neck." So uh, I've had I've had enough, basically. Another another uh, gesture is um, how you indicate that the person is uh, crazy or the idea is insane. So this is like that. I know that some nations are doing it like this, or something else, uh, or Japanese probably. I heard doing something like kuro kuro po, or something like that. Symbol uh, or gesture for money is uh, this. This is widespread, and I guess we borrowed it from some Asians, Central Asians or Caucasians. And sometimes we imitate the nations which are surrounding us. Uh, it's like uh, when we try to imitate Italians, we start uh, gesturing like crazy, like "Oh, mamma mia, buongiorno, bambina," something like this. Uh, or Hispanics like "Qué pasa, qué tal, te quiero Madrid," or something like that. And uh, so, for say our Caucasian neighbors, uh, we uh, we like to say something like this. Bah! So they, uh, we think that they are using this bah gesture very often uh, just to stress um, the importance of what they're saying or express their delight at something. Oh, what a girl! Bah! Something like that. This is the end of my brief uh, video. I hope you've uh, learned a bit about Russian gestures. And uh, yes, and we never do it like this. Uh, because uh, they say that you need to, your head to be covered with uh, some kind of uh, cap or headgear and especially this is a military salute so you can do it only if you have that kind of <laughs> device on your head so goodbye folk uh, Jesus Christ